so what we want to do is we want to move from this space. We want to move from this space where people have us uh, all tied up in gimmicks and mimics and all these other kinds of things. And we were created uniquely and wonderfully made and beautiful. And so if we would just give God our best, and if you could move away from murmuring and complaining and just give God your best, whatever God made you, whatever God's given you to work with, give God your best. Just give him your best. And I tell you, he will multiply it. God will move with it. In Matthews 19 and 21, and Jesus said to him, if you want to be perfect, go and sell what you have and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven and come and follow me. If you desire to be perfect, replied Jesus, go and sell all that you have and give it to what? Over to those temptations in the spirit, if not, in the letter of the command thus given. You know, today I had a unique thing. I come, sometimes I come down by the water. It's been helping me since the passing away of my father. And so, you know, it's, it's not important to answer a whole lot of questions, but um, I understand the different things that travel on the water. And so uh, I would watch this man for the whole time that I've been traveling and coming towards the water this man he goes from he goes up and down this road and he goes in the trash cans and he goes in the trash cans and digs out and finds food in the trash cans and you know many a times I, I i would you know i had sandwiches i had this i had that and you ask him if if he would take it and he he look at you and shake his head no 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 well today I had took in, I, I took a friend of mine down to the waterfront, and uh, when I took him down there, he had these big lunches. I said, "Oh man, I I don't eat all that food." So I seen the man at the uh, at in the area, and I stopped him. I said, "Listen, I have I said I have a lot of food here." I said, "It's never been touched." He says, "Is it good?" I said, "It's got to be wonderful." And today he received it. He took it from me. Now. You know, to you, that may not be anything, but to me, it's the breaking because I watched this man for maybe three to four months just go in the garbage and pick food out of the trash. And so today he took it from my hand. And so what happens is if I give God everything that was given to me, all I did was give God what he gave me. And God is requiring us to do our best. There is an economical side. There is a special whirlwind move of God. The blazing fire of the Holy Spirit is, is prevalent. It is it's close. And this thing, I beseech it even as I'm talking to you, shall enter into those things and those areas in your life that, aren't put together properly or or there may be distractions and disruptions and different things could be because of relationships could be because of work could just could be because just 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 the area and the atmosphere did it well now we're entering in this space where the blazing fire of the holy ghost is so close ishapo and if you would just give god everything if you would just release of yourselves now, I tell you, God is going to come in another way. God said he would do it. And I believe God is going to come away. In 1 Corinthians 4 and 7, he says, For what gives you the right to make such a judgment? And if everything you have is from God, why boast as, the, as though it were not a gift? If then you received it, why do you boast as if you did not receive it? Already you have all you want. For by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourselves. See, no matter what, you know, 
we, we, we don't need to get into the boast and the popularity. You know, I did this and God gave me that and God gave me this and God gave me that. Look what I got. Look what I did. I did this and God, listen, let me tell you something. If, if, if whatever you got, you take and you give it back to God, it just makes it larger. See, if in fact, if I put myself and I put my space and my position in God or under God, or I place myself in the center of God, it makes me larger understanding who God is. Huh? And, and that's what we have to do. See, when you, uh, psychology, and, and you know, they would teach you in school that anyone that uses the word I in a conversation they would say 150 times as a self-centered person, I, 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 I. But him, God did it. God, God, God. Amen. And the more and more we give our best and we decrease that he may increase, it makes us larger and we take on more territory. And not only that, we break down the strongholds that are in other people because the continents and the presence of not Ziri or Zari is there, but it's the presence and the continence of Almighty Yehovah, which is always effective. Huh? It's never ineffective. Under the Diosiah, I don't believe it's possible to be in the actual presence of God. Now, I'm not talking about somebody saying that they usher God or somebody saying that God came. I'm talking about just God, period we can receive and the others receive just God and they will receive what they need as you allow that to happen. In John 6 and 37, all that the Father gives me shall come to me and him that comes to me, I will in no way, I will know the Father. I want those who have given me to be with me where I am, that they may, for these very effects, there must be a cause. And in the next few verses, we're going to see it is St. Bernard said, following the words of Jesus, if there is free will, we can follow the words of Jesus. Let's go down. We can, if we follow the words of Jesus. For I have come down from heaven, not to do what my own will, but to do what the will of him who sent me. You have come here for a purpose, for a purpose. God put you here for a purpose. In, in, in 39, he says, and this is what the will of him who sent me, that I shall lose none of all those he has given me, but raised them up at the last day. See, so there is a there is things that are assigned to you specifically. You have to get into your spirit and your mind and let it be your conscious that I have been made and prepared for God's certainties. There are, oh, there are certain things that only you can do. They're assigned to you. But in order to do that, you got to give God your best, which is all of you. You got to give God credit for everything, huh? You got to lose this thing about yourself. That God would what? That God would be glorified. Let's let's scroll down to verse 65. He said, and then Jesus said, This is why I told you that no one can come to what me unless the Father has granted it to him. So you can't even, I can't even, I can't even talk about, oh, well, you know, the Lord did this, the Lord did that, you know, oh, I did this, I did this, I did that. No, listen, it's just his pleasure that allowed me to come on and, 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 and you know, in my mind as before I got on the air tonight, I was just, draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord to the cross where thine has died draw me 
nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to thy precious leading side. And then the song rhyme goes, I am thine, O Lord, I have heard thy voice. You listen, so, you know, Yehovah drew the song in me and put it in me that I would sing it back to him. So it's him in me and it's him singing through me back to him. And so he gets all the credit. And the only thing I can do is do my best. And, 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 and if I give him my best, it allows me to come into a space where he can do the rest and make me what? Better. Because God wants to do better. He wants to do something special in us. In John 10 and 28, he says, I give them what eternal life and they will never perish. No one can snatch them out of my hand. If we give God our best. I have revealed your name to those you have given me out of the world. They were yours and you gave them to me and they have kept your word. So we have to, we want, we want to come in unity with the purposes and plans of Jehovah. That what? That we would not fail and be faithful. And the only way to do that is you got to give him everything. Because in John 17, 9, he says, I ask on their account. I do not ask on behalf of the world, but on the behalf of those you have given me, for they are yours. God has given you to Yeshua the Messiah that he would not lose you. It's already been planned out. It's already paid for. Give God your best today. In, in John 17, 24, it says, Father, I want those you have given me to be with me where I am, that they may see the glory you gave me because you love me before the foundation of the world. God is awesome. God is awesome. God is awesome. God is awesome. My last scripture in 1 Corinthians 4 and 7. If in fact you did receive it, why do you boast as if you hadn't received it? So if everything you have was given to you, why do you act as if you got it all on your own? Didn't God give you everything you have without bringing either Apollos or me into it, you are sitting on top of what? You're sitting on top of everything. It's like sitting on top of the world. God is doing a great job. God is doing great things. And we just have to keep our focus. We have to keep our focus. Keep your focus and try this week or make a declaration this day that I'm going to do my best. I'm going to give you my best, which is all of me. I'm going to give you my best, which is all of me. And I'm telling you, I believe with this revelation, he's going to open up the windows of heaven and pour us out blessings that we don't have room enough to receive. I believe he's going to begin to rebuke the devourers for our namesake. I believe that we're going to become the head and not to tell above and never beneath and the lender and never the borrower. I believe that everything that comes with service, service businesses, that you will own them. For we are moving in this shift, this last shift, this last shift, which will bring about, which will bring about the manifestation of Jehovah's power. We, we, we have no, there's no time now to get into all these different events 
that are that are distracting you from your divine purpose. 